the Memorial Day weekend, as you know, is full of barbecues, fireworks, and oftentimes parades and a lot of special meaning for service members and especially for their families. Marisol recently spent some time with some young people who are very patriotic in their own way, making many sacrifices themselves. Absolutely, and they were a wonderful bunch, Erica. Hundreds of thousands of American servicemen and women are not only heroes, but parents. We visited students at West Point Elementary and Middle Schools on the grounds of the U.S. Military Academy. And as you'll see, they bravely answer their own call to duty. Have any of you ever had to say goodbye to your parent because they went overseas? Yeah? Ellen, can you bring me back to that place? I think I was seven and a half, and um, we were at the airport, and um, this flight was called. And it was just a really, really, really sad moment. When the day came, we sat, me and my sister were crying. Like, we, did, we kept hugging him, and we didn't want him to go, so it's really sad. We brought him to the airport and everything, and then like we were too, like we were too upset to go to school, so we we stayed and we like ate ice cream with mom and started crying and stuff. So yeah. What were you most afraid of, knowing that your dad was going to war? He was if he was gonna get killed or not, and like is he gonna come home? He had a room, and you could hear bombs go off outside, so. He would laugh because he was used to it, but I'd get really scared. So while you were online chatting, you could hear them? Yeah. He um, like makes us laugh at dinner, and he tells us jokes all the time. And it's a, it's a nice time with him. But when he's gone, it's, it's like not really the same. Tell me about what it was like when he came back. Um, I was really happy. I was like jumping up and down with joy. I ran over to hug him. I used to call her every day and I used to pray for her, hope she doesn't die or anything or get killed. And then when she came back, I was looking for her because I didn't remember her, nor her face. Then my grandma told me that was her. I was decided and I just jumped on her. I was four when he came back and I remember him getting out of the plane and me and my brother rushing up and jumping into his arms. We all, every, all the families ran. I ran to him and I jumped and he gave me a hug. It was really exciting. Tell me, what's the hardest part about being a military child? Um, watching your friends and family leave. We have normal lives as kids. Like, we go out, we'll play with our friends, like, hang out and, you know, do what normal teenagers or kids will do. But, I mean, sometimes it's different because we, uh, we move a lot. I was born in California. A lot in Oklahoma. Born in Panama. Then I went to Virginia. Arizona. We moved to Hawaii, Texas to Pennsylvania, and then now I'm here. Wow. I had a really hard time making friends when I was younger, but I mean, as I moved more, I, like, I made more friends easier. I'm really proud of my dad because he's been fighting for our freedom, and he's been there the whole time when we need him. I'm proud of my dad because I know that he took uh, he risked his life to help our nation. I'm proud of him because he like always works his best and he always tries to make our lives happy for us. And like I know sometimes he like he always I always think that he's mean to me because like he can't be with me. But I know that he always um he always loves me. And these students, so wonderful. And they plan on for their Memorial Day weekend, they're going to do their own barbecues, but they also uh, go to the cemetery, and it's sort of a ritual for a lot of them. And mm -hmm. they hang wreaths, and they, they plant flowers. And it's just, you forget that they're so little, but they carry the weight of the world They know so shoulders. much. And so nice they do to the cemeteries. So so many cemeteries, and it means so much to the mm -hmm. folks who go to visit the graves of their loved ones sure. to see how they are honored, even after they have passed, yep. to come there and to find those flags and those wreaths. And really they nice. all, no matter what age of the kids you talk oh, to, yeah. they all sound so mature. And they are. They have to be. Brave kids, brave families. Mm -hmm. We thank them all. Thanks, Maddie. Really nice piece. Thank you.